Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. So, as you can tell by the title of this particular video, we're going to do the permadeath, uh, not, pardon me, not permadeath, we're going to do the uh, space jump again. So, why am I doing this again? Well, at the end of the last episode, it was kind of a fail at the end. Here I am, plunging two and a half, three minutes through the sky, and I lose, what, a quarter bar of health? That's it? really really strange and I'm sure you agree with that so I decided to test some theories out so I've created a couple of different saves did some testing erased the saves recreated it started over done a bunch of them that's why there's been a big gap between the last video and today so you can see we're we're getting into this new next save that I have here now this is a survival save so not not the easiest one not normal it's survival and I've done some testing with survival, and I'm going to show you exactly. I have no idea why I paused like that. It's really clocking a little bit here. I think I've got some stuff going on. But it's. I've tested it, and I want to show you what happens in survival mode. So here I have just a standard uh, you know, uh, character here. Um, I'm guessing the graphics card is catching up. I'm going to check that out real quick. I have blocked it out for a second here. Let me just take a look at it. Yeah, there we go. Move this over. Okay. And I am going to turn on the timer. I meant to turn that on. Let's get that back on the screen. There it is. Okay, good deal. So we're going to be mainly in this particular mode right now. All right, we're back. Okay, so we got the timer on there. We're probably not going to uh, get it too much going here, but I may use it at least as a as a reference point so you guys can see what happens here. So, standard starting character, nothing special going on here. Uh, even got the starter ship, nothing special there either. Okay. So the point of this is that you'll take a look at my inventory. You'll see it's completely empty. It is a starter inventory as well. I've got a whole bunch of life support gels on me, but I've got even more not there. I've got even more sitting in inventory over here. I created the crap out of this. I did cheat a bunch of it. Let's let's be clear. Um, because I wanted to see what would happen as far as my character is concerned. Um, I'm probably going to need about half of that again. There are 75 of them ought to do the trick. All right. This is a very basic freighter. I think it's an A-class. I happen to land an A-class freighter uh, on my first attempt to get a freighter. There is nothing added to this at all except a couple doors to the outside world. Okay, doors to space. I don't know what it is about space, but for some reason space doesn't scare me. Um, but the deep ocean does. Uh, you're probably not going to see me playing Subnautica. Anywho, so we're going to jump here off the ship. We're going to land on the planet. I am not going to hit my jets except to maneuver myself down to the atmosphere. And you see there's the planet right down there. And at some point it start it's gonna start freaking out and uh, you know, do do what's necessary here. It's gonna get kind of wonky. Uh, it's gonna reorient myself, it's gonna my my health is gonna drop like a rock, and it's not gonna show you my health dropping. So let's get the timer going, and we're gonna show you what happens on this one. It's really, really kind of wild. Here's the timer. When it gets that weird look to it, I can usually do the thrust jump. Okay, not really worried about that. Ah, my jetpack is not working. No kidding. That's alright. And... I think I set that to five. Oh, two. No. I don't know what is happening here. Okay. So that just did not work out the way it was supposed to. So let's see where we are here. So that was the craziest thing that happened. Um, so yeah, I went a little silent there because I didn't expect that to get damaged by a, a tiny, tiny little fall that you saw 
occurring there. So that's really kind of crazy. And you'll notice that the inventory is gone. So back to the starship. We're going to pull out the inventory out of this. Let's pull 100 out. And let's pull that much out. Okay. And we need to get to our freighter, which we do not have a portal to. So let's see what happened there. That was really, really strange. And I, as you can see, I had a hotkey set up to do the charge on my suit, and it wasn't working. And I don't know why. Kept bringing up uh, something else entirely. So let's see if I can't fix that. Um, hello. Thank you. And the loud doors. Looks like they've adjusted them a little bit, but it's not quite the same just yet. Wow, that was a fail. Okay, let's take a look here. So, charge. And I'm going to reset that to 5. So, I should be able to hit my 5. And charge. Okay. Okay. Because that will be the only one that will be present for me. Alright, let's make sure that works. It's very strange. It's like my hotkey got reassigned on its own. Alright. Here we go again. Hi, George. Yep, just passing through. Trying to plunge to my death again. Don't mind me. Do-do-do. Next drop. Come on. Let's see if we can go over here a little bit. It's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So it's going to require a click every time. Like that. So we're just falling. It's doing it again. What in the world? Did it just get damaged? It did. Ah, I don't believe this. Well, he's going to die, so there's no doubt about it. Let's see how far we've come. We're not in the atmosphere yet. I don't know. I don't know. We might make the atmosphere. We might not. It's okay. Well, that didn't work either. I'm telling you, I got it to work like three times in a row I did it. Something tells me I need to carry some ferrite dust on me. How much we got left? None. Of course not. Alright. Maybe we'll go out the other side of this ship. <laughs> See if we can get this to work properly. You notice that the uh, freighter is not upside down either. I don't know if it's a type, if it's due to the type of freighter that you use, or how that works. But gosh, this is embarrassing. I'm very, very sorry. So let's make sure. So we are all set. Okay. Let's see what the starship has. We don't have any more ferrite on board. So this will be the last attempt at this. Pretty much sure the freighter doesn't have any either. So we're giving this one more chance. Let's go out the left door. Haven't had a good amount of luck going out the other door. Let's take a look.
Interesting. It's like the engine right there. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Do we want to go out that side or that side? Hmm. Watch the jets. Watch the jets. Okay, I just landed in the ship. That's interesting. Okay, this is going to be a drop. Okay, we got it this time. You know what happened? I shot my ship. My ship thinks it's under attack. That's hilarious. So, yeah. So, you watch the timer. We see we're about at... What, about uh, three minutes or so? We'll be in the atmosphere soon. I wonder if we're going to have enough to get to the atmosphere. Yeah, look, there's my base. We're in the atmosphere, and life support is staying steady. And he still looks like he's lounging. I don't know what the heck is going on with that. Oh, trust me, we don't have to worry about radiation protection. So right now we're just in free fall. So we hit the free fall point at about 445. Let's see what happens when we get all the way down here. There we go. Now we'll get the little spinning arms and legs. There we go. Oh, look, nice uh, flock of ships. That just sounded wrong on um, so many levels. Flocking ships? I'll just leave that alone. Hey, look, he's circling over there. I bet you there's a landing pad over there somewhere. That's good to know. Too bad this isn't permadeath, right? So, you remember, I've got two hearts left. Full shield. Let's see what happens when I hit the ground. We're almost there. Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. And that's what happens. You lose a heart and you lose your shield completely. And that's all the damage you get in survival mode. And I have no idea what got damaged. That. My multi-tool was damaged. Unbelievable. So that, my friends, is exactly what happens. So let's call on the ship. I think we can call on our ship. Yep. Of course, I'm not even sure if he has enough uh, juice in it to lift off again, but we'll find out in a moment here. All right, what do we got here? Nope. This means we're going to have to make one. Let's get on board. Actually, this planet should have uranium... Hmm. It's a thought. Okay. Let's see. To make it, how much do we need? We need uh, dihydrogen and a metal plate. I can't even get either of them at this point. Alright. Don't worry, we'll get it. Uh, salt? Well, I don't need any salt. I could use some dihydrogen, though, thanks. Alright, there we go. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, we still don't have enough for a metal plate. Um, what is going on? Am I picking up? Oh, because I'm in the wrong. Yeah, okay. It's okay. I'm alright. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's see. We need one of you guys. Let's drop you in. Hey, okay, we're ready to go. Alright, so we're going to get up there. Uh, before we do... Why did I do that? Because... I need to get my health back up. Okay. So that gives me full health. Health at maximum. You see that? Alright, so what are we up to? So like we said, that's what happens in survival mode. Now you know. So if you're in survival mode and you fall down a cliff, as long as you have at least two hearts left, two pluses left, if you will, two health points left, and a full shield... You will survive the fall, no matter what. Okay? So there you are. So, I'm not as concerned about this save. Like I said, this was just a very basic save. So what am I doing at this point? I've restored the save point. We're going to go into the options. Into the difficulty settings. And what are we doing? We're going to go to the maximum. Hold on a second here. Hmm. It won't let me choose it. Well, then I'm going to work on it. Cannot select permadeath after game has started. Interesting. Damage levels are challenging. Does that mean if damage levels are already at maximum, even in permadeath mode, you won't die? Okay. Very interesting. I'm looking at everything on here just to see if I'm missing something. How many strength? Okay, good. Reptation. Not worried about that. You can't switch over to... Well, we just learned something new, folks. You can't switch to permadeath. Fascinating. Okay. Now we know. But... We are already at damage levels challenging. So, I guess my next option is, is I'm going to have to start a new permadeath run. Um, and I'll get to this exact same point. It take, took five jumps through hyperspace to get here. So I'll do the non-tutorial mode. Get to my ship, repair it as quickly as possible, and do that. Okay, and then we'll be coming back to this. And I'll see you in just a few minutes. Well, a few seconds, your time. It's probably going to be a while for me. All right. See you in a moment. Okay, and we're back again. Now, we're in permadeath. As you can see, the character is completely different. We're in permadeath mode, so I'm going to show you that real quick. In the options area, see? I'm not change difficulty if they're locking settings. They are completely locked. I can't even get into them right now. This is a permadeath run. Um, I happen to acquire this particular freighter. It's a B-class freighter. Um, and I just now acquired it just a little bit ago. I've gotten everything ready to go. I've got uh, the maximum amount I can, I can carry on this character is 60. That's also a good clue in regards to how many I'm permitted to carry uh, in regards to the type of uh, save it was and everything like that. So one thing I wanted to mention, I meant to, meant to bring this up at the very beginning of the episode. Um, I had a comment from one of the people regarding uh, one of my permadeath runs, and he mentioned, he says, you do have the ability to craft antimatter housings. Uh, that from, that's from Michael Hayslip. Michael, thank you very much. You're absolutely correct. On the run that I was doing, I, I must have just skipped right past it and had in my brain that I was still doing the tutorial version of it, which you don't get that until much later. Um, but because I did the no story mode version, um, I had access to that and didn't even realize it. I should have been able to select it right away. It was probably right there in front of me when I looked in the menu. I looked right past it because I didn't expect to see it. So that's the big uh, point right there. Uh, so thank you very much for pointing that out. He's absolutely correct. And on the next permadeath runs, you're going to see me. I might be utilizing those. But the point is, is that uh, normally you shouldn't have to build those because part of the permadeath run 
uh, the No Starter Ship Iron Man Challenge is that you do not exit the system you're in. It used to be you were confined to only the one planet, that you could go out into space and land back on the planet if you're jumping around a little bit. But you weren't allowed to go to other planets, but because your cargo space is now so much bigger, you can have up to, a, I think it's 100 slots in cargo and 80 in the technology area. Um, because of that, you would... Uh, uh, you, you can't be limited to one planet. You have to go to the other planets at this point. So that's the only way to increase all your cargo. So you saw that little uh, note regarding the hazardous planet. That is because I'm, I have created a uh, base on the planet below me that is an ice planet. So I've had to take a couple other precautions. You're going to see that I happen to have a, uh, uh, a shield that I can protect myself on the way down because otherwise it drops so quickly it'll kill me before I even hit the ground. Um, I happen to acquire that, no big deal. And I added just a little bit of a, a augmented jetpack because it'll get me a little bit further out onto the ship so I can jump off a little quicker. It's the only thing I've done different. Now keeping in mind, here's the big thing. Think about this, this is permadeath. If I screw this up on the first jump, I have to start a whole new save all over again. So let's hope I can get it on the first shot because if he dies when he hits the ground, it's over. The game is gone. But the theory is, even at the most challenging setting, he shouldn't die. So does he die, does he not? That's what we're trying to find out. Let's give it a go. All right. Go out to one edge of the ship. And wait a minute. Oof, I almost forgot. Okay, this is life support. Right here, and we're going to use control E. All right, so we are ready. I don't know why that popped up. Ready? Um, okay. Trying to get off the ship. Up here it goes. So we're falling. Maybe we get that timer going, huh? I'm just going to keep doing it. And there's my little home away from home. Now this is also an aggressive sentinel planet, so that's the tough part. Uh, we should be entering the atmosphere soon. Whoa, it's dropping fast. You want to know how fast it is? Look at the diorite, uh, di di dioxide on the right-hand side. See how fast it's clocking up. And the oxygen, too. That's hilarious. So we're still falling. We've been falling for almost a minute now, give or take. We haven't even entered the atmosphere yet. Don't worry, we'll get him out of the lazy. There he goes. And now we're falling. I can't get him out of this. Now, we may hit the ocean. I haven't figured this out yet. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got him out of that mode. It's so much more satisfying. So, we didn't screw it up. <laughs> That's the good news. We're falling to our death. I'm going to see if I can't get to over to the land. I don't know if this will work or not. With the blizzard going, I can't even see the ground anymore. So, so theory is we are fully charged shields. We have fully charged health. The theory is we should die on impact. But we have seen evidence that says otherwise. Now, it looks like we're going to hit the ocean. I don't know what kind of impact, but it will be pretty harsh if we hit it hard. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
That's all we got. Critical damage. One heart. Unbelievable. So, there's our answer. There's our answer. It looks to me that you can no longer die. You no longer have fall damage. In permadeath mode. Great. So, as I'm running around over here, you guys can just, you know, enjoy the show. And I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, with, with, with permadeath mode, you should not be able to uh, survive a fall like that. Any fall. I mean, it used to be you used to jump up this high and drop, and you'd die. And that was the end of the game. And I, I maybe, I don't know, maybe some people complained about it? It could be. It doesn't make any sense to me. Can I land here? Okay, good. So, yeah, that's kind of disappointing, I guess. But, now we know. Now we know. So that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Um... Again, it wasn't going to be very long. I, I forgot to stop the timer again. It looks like it took about a good two minutes to get down to the ground at least. Um, you saw the timer on there, and I'll look back at the uh, scenes and determine how far it was. But there it is. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I, I've tried every attempt to drop from space in order to kill myself, but it's really been uh, kind of a disappointment. Um, disappointed that I didn't kill my character, I guess. I don't know. But it's a good test. It's a learning experience. We now know that you cannot die from fall damage unless you're already heavily injured to begin with. Um, and the only person I know of that can do that is uh, uh, Jason Place. Yeah, you can tell him I said that too. <laughs> anyway, okay guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, this will be just, an, again, another short episode, 20 minutes long or so. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.